2019 was the worst year of my life. Do you ever feel like today's not your day, your week, your month, or even your year? Welcome to my life in 2019. The year started off very hot with our first Netflix film, Fire Festival. All these models, like in the Bahamas, the most insane festival the world has ever seen. Which was nominated for an Emmy. Right now, you are the fucking laughing stock of everything. Then I got engaged to Roman. We are engaged. He made the cutest video. And we had just finished our most profitable year at my advertising agency, Jerry Media. 2019 is gonna be a good year, boy. Lord had other plans. The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh. We got sued a thousand different times, a thousand different ways for erroneous accusations which forced us to defend ourselves with legal fees, almost crippling our company. <sighs> Crap. Buongiorno. Then Roman got cold feet and called off the engagement. Great. <laughs> and because of the media storm fire festival created, most of our clients had to back out for the time being until the storm cooled off. I was in shock, so overwhelmed by life. I didn't know which way to go. I was lost, I was angry, I was sad. I even called my dad. <laughs> that rhymed. That was perfectly timed. I remember thinking to myself, holy shit, I am fucked. When I was in finance, I hated every single day. I had a good job. Now I work here at Jerry Media, a company that started on a, on a guess and a leap of faith that it was gonna do well. All I think about is work, and I've never been so busy or satisfied in my entire life. I mean, I might be bankrupt in like a week or something, but the reason I'm doing this YouTube channel is because I wanna mark the success and failures of this company. And in 10 years from now, if we're a massive company, it's gonna be very cool to watch how it started or how it finished. Has there ever been a time when I have been this rock bottom in my life with everything going wrong at the same exact time? And I thought, yes. There was one time. 15 years ago, I was offered a scholarship to play college football at Boston College. I was a field goal kicker. One night on my birthday, before I was 21, I decided to go to a bar. I had just missed three field goals that day. There was very angry fans in the bar. I got into a bar fight with three fans who picked on me. I got suspended from school. I lost my scholarship. My girlfriend dumped me. And I remember thinking, this has to be a bad dream. I will never recover from this. Back to the drawing board. Or computer, whatever. You get the point. When the world seems like it's falling apart, it probably is in that moment. But with time, life is a funny way of working itself out. Now when life kicks you, it's okay to be sad for a little bit. I did not know how I was going to recover. But what I do know is 2020 will be the best year of my life. I can't tell you why, because I don't know why, but I just feel it. I'm going to dominate 2020. Which brings me to my next point. I'm gonna start daily vlogging very soon because this makes me happy, having a relationship with you guys. I'm not gonna do it every day to start, I'm gonna work my way into it. Why? Because I remember when I forced myself to daily vlog in 2017, it was incredibly hard. The gains were not substantial. And also, why do I have no subscribers to this channel? I've put in so much work, it's crazy. Which leads me to believe either the content shit or I don't know what I'm doing. Perfect. Now I have an audience on YouTube and I want to get back to it because this is what makes me most happy. And uh, I've been stuck in this rut for, for so many years being stressed about money, employees, and, and uh, getting clients where I haven't really been able to be passionate about what I like to do, which is making videos. So, with that being said, 2020, I'm going to dominate you. It was just too expensive with the parking tickets. I think what I learned from all this pain and suffering and anguish is that you never know what anybody's going through at any given time, whether it be your friends, your family, or a stranger. All they really might need in that moment is a hug. Have more empathy for people who are going through a tough time. It really helps when you're positive. Quiz, Fred, Jocko, thank you. Those are my friends. So what I vow in 2020 is that I will be back for y'all motherfuckers. I am so, so pumped to get back to Da YouTube and Da Vlog because I need to bring that fresh, hot content all over the globe. I'm gonna be traveling, I'm gonna be doing crazy vlogs, I'm gonna be playing guitar, I might play piano. I don't know. I don't.
guess what I did? Uh, you drowned? Yes, but I, I forgot my propellers. What? Yeah, Fuck. that's what I'm saying. Uh, so what did you do for an hour? Well, you're going to have to watch the vlog, Roman. All right, so 2019 in review, horrible year, but I'm looking forward only for to 2020. Uh, we are here in Amsterdam. I'm with Roman. She's actually recording right now. Roman, say what up. Hey, guys. Um, we have made amends and found our way back to each other. Roman, say you're sorry. I'm sorry, lady. That's okay. Right? Shit happens, you know? Um, so looking ahead to 2020, I'm going to be action-packed on the vlog. Not daily, yet. Maybe I'll do daily, but... I'm just not gonna say it because then I'll have to put pressure on myself. There's a car coming, you're fine though. Now to the fun part of the vlog. We are gonna show you Amsterdam. We're here for four days and then we go off skiing to Chamonix in France. Um, I don't know if you can see the, behind me, there's a river, also called a canal. 25,000 bikes are lost to the canal every single year. Now, why do I mention bikes? Because this is the friendliest biking town in the world, Amsterdam. It's actually pretty dangerous when you're walking around because there's crazy bikers everywhere. And it's, yeah, there's a biker there, look at biker there, get him. Bikes all around me, there's so many freaking bikes, I don't know what to do with myself. Tomorrow, incredible, tomorrow, incredible vlog coming. Roman and I are gonna go get high on mushrooms, which are very legal here. So we're gonna be tripping on truffles tomorrow. I just love this city, it's so charming. So, uh, thanks for watching, and let's go have some fun now. Right, Roms? Yeah. When I think about the way we used to be When I think about the things it took from me I know that I am so much better Thank you. Cheers, Roms. Cheers. When I look at what I've done now that we are part It looks so unreal. Look at what I've done. Look at this shit. large craft pants please. You need to buy fat pants? Yeah. Why? Because... Right. They unbutton? Yeah, they unbutton but it's still hurting. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't even had pancakes yet. <sighs> I know. <laughs> That's why I need fat pants. Right, there's well, a lot of things I need to try. Okay. And then we're going to Germany and I'm going to drink hot chocolate. It's not going to get any better for me. Definitely not. <laughs> we're so fat. All we do when we're on vacation is eat and drink. And we don't work out. Well, she worked out this morning. It's Soul me. Cycle. What? It's a real workout. Yeah, it is. You almost another biker. This is crazy. This is my favorite street. Why? So cute. Look at this cute little restaurant. They have like Christmas lights, and then it's like not, uh, not, um, not not enough. But what's the word? What? <laughs> Okay, so I can get free roll joints, easy. Uh, which one do you want? Do you want like... Do you think I have any idea what I'm doing? I don't know. Someone asked for a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> Where'd you go in? Uh, I got um light. It's like supposed to be light. It's not crazy. And then I got a joint already made. Look, it's so nice. I'm gonna give this to my brother after because it's like perfect. It's pure weed. It's healthy, you know. So you're gonna test it some of it now? Mm. This is the weed brownie. We're, we're just taking it light today because it's New Year's Eve. Tomorrow we decide we're gonna trip on truffles on the first. Okay. I'm a little bit hesitant to do this. I'm not good with THC, so I'm... Yeah, weed affects you pretty bad. It doesn't affect me at all. I'm gonna freak out. Maybe. I'm gonna take a little bit. Can I have a bite? That's a big bite. Uh, bikes everywhere, man. Roman just decided to eat half the uh, the weed brownie. She's probably gonna be really not okay in a couple I, I don't minutes. Get it. I like that, James. Okay. You just, you just wait half an hour. I'll see you in a second. Excuse me? It never affects me like you, James. 
I have a body made out of iron. Too healthy. Hey. How many fireworks do these people have? <laughs> Thanks for watching my um, horror story about 2019. Be positive, and guys, if you have a rough time in your life, go to friends, tell them what's wrong. It gets better, I promise. And eat chocolate. And eat chocolate. Great idea, Ross. Great idea.